Welcome to this lesson on setting up a simple two-vehicle collision in the Virtual Crash 3 software environment. We just opened up our Virtual Crash 3 software. Let's go ahead and get our first vehicle from the vehicle library. And I think in this case I'd like to go ahead and have a Ferrari involved. Why not? Uh, we see here our nicely rendered model. We could change the colors if we wish. We'll do that in a moment. Let's make our second vehicle a Cadillac. It's just that easy dragging and dropping the vehicles into our environment. We can of course pan with the hand grip and using our right mouse button we can rotate around the scene. If we pick the select and move tool that allows us to move the vehicles around and rotate them. Let's go ahead and rotate them. We'll make something of a T-bone type impact. Now you can give the vehicles an initial speed by simply uh, right clicking on the vehicle to pull up this dialog and you can just enter whatever the speed is you wish. And it's just that easy. We've already got the vehicles colliding. And the system will give you a preview of what the impact configuration will be in real time as you move the vehicles around the scene. That's one of the unique features of the Virtual Crash software environment. Let's go ahead and edit the colors of these vehicles. We'll make the Ferrari red. And here we'll pick the Cadillac and let's make that Cadillac black. Now we can scroll to adjust our view. Here's our preview of the impact. And of course we can render it in high quality video. Or we can get a, without rendering the animation, we can at least get an idea of what the scene might look like at any given moment in time by rendering an individual frame. That's another unique feature of the Virtual Crash system. So here we have the system rendering this particular frame and ray tracing is turned on so we get nice reflections off of the vehicles and of course we can animate the scene and the high quality video would include all the ray tracing effects. So here we see uh, the high quality rendering of this particular frame and again if we animated the collision sequence at the highest quality setting each frame would look of uh, similar quality in the output. In our next lesson, we'll show how to modify the various parameters that are used by the collision model, and we'll examine what effect changing these parameters will have on the post-impact trajectories of the vehicles. Thank you.